morning, flowers, and welcome to Faculty Friday edition of the Morning Roar. I'm Mrs. Gaskins. And I'm Mr. Wu. Today is Friday, February the 5th, and you're tuning in to another great edition of the Morning Roar. Before we begin, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to the Morning Roar. February is Black History Month, and we're here to honor black history and give you news that you can use. In celebration of Black History Month, we present our Black History Facts of the Day. Edward Boucher, the first black person to earn a PhD from an American university. As the youngest and only son of four children, Edward Alexander Boucher was born to William and Susan Boucher in New Haven on September 15, 1852. During the 1850s and 1860s, New Haven only had three schools that black children could attend. Edward was enrolled in the Artisan Street Colored School, a small, ungraded school with one teacher. He then attended New Haven High School until 1868. In 1868, Boucher was accepted into Hopkins Grammar School and graduated first in his class. Boucher entered Yale in 1870, and in four years, he became the first black man to graduate from Yale. He ranked sixth in a class of 124. As a result of his exceptional academic performance, Boucher became the first black person in the nation to be nominated Phi Beta Kappa. In the fall of 1874, he returned to Yale, and in 1876, Boucher successfully completed his dissertation to become the first black person to earn a PhD from an American university, as well as the sixth American of any race to earn a PhD in physics. Boucher's legacy does not end there. Dr. Boucher went on to teach chemistry and physics for 26 years at the Institute for Colored Youth in Philadelphia. Limited by racism, Boucher taught in high schools and colleges for much of the remainder of his career, served as U.S. Inspector of Customs at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition from 1904 to 1905, and served as Principal of Lincoln High School in Ohio from 1908 to 1913. Boucher died at the age of 66 in 1918. Flowers is offering the AccuPlacer test for dual enrollment to eligible 10th and 11th graders. You must have at least a 2.5 GPA test. Test dates are February the 10th through the 19th. You must sign up and guidance by February the 9th. Registration for spring credit recovery is taking place now. See your guidance counselors with questions or how to sign up. Looking for the perfect Valentine's gift for that special someone? The music department has covered. Purchase a songogram, choose a Cupid, Lover, or Romance package. Place your order during all lunch periods through Wednesday, February the 10th. Songograms will be delivered Thursday, February the 11th. See Mr. Miles in room 775 with questions. SGA will be selling candy grams starting February the 8th. Do you need a tutor? Students of the ROTC Kitty Hawk Honor Society is now available for tutoring. Tutoring is held on Mondays and Thursdays from 2.35 to 3.35 in room 1124. Are you ready for winter homecoming? Sponsors by SGA Winter Homecoming will be held February the 16th through the 19th. February the 18th is the homecoming basketball game and seniors night. The homecoming dance is February the 20th. Tickets are $10 in advance and $20 at the door. The Chromebook rental program is available school-wide. The cost is $30. Applications can be picked up from Mr. Waldron in room 1122. Show your school spirit and raise money for the class of 2019 at the same time. Charles Herbert Flower Spiritwear is available at lavishly.com and click on Custom Client Login. 
This week in sports, the Bachi team will compete in the county championships at Wise today at 10 a.m. The boys and girls basketball teams take on the Wise Pumas tonight. The girls are at home and the boys are away. JV games start at 5.30 and varsity starts at 7.15. On Saturday, the wrestling team takes on Suitland at 10 a.m. The swim team competes in the PG Championships at 1 p.m. at the Sports and Learning Complex. And the JV and varsity cheerleaders will compete against teams from all over the country in the Battle of Boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Both teams will fight for a paid bid to the U.S. Finals in May. In this edition of College Corner, Here's your chance to tour college campuses. First, on February the 11th, check out Towson University and Morgan State University. Then March 23rd through 27th, visit North Carolina Central, North Carolina A&T, Spelman, Clark, Morehouse, and Florida A&M Universities. Go to www.aerocollegiatetour.com to download an application. Flowers will host FASA Night on Monday, February the 22nd at 6.30 in the cafeteria. Your parents need to bring their tax documents and pay stubs so they compete, can complete the FASA form online. Assistance will be provided for you. Also, students interested in taking the AccuPlacer test for the Prince George's Community College can sign up in guidance. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority provides scholarships for Prince George's County students. You must have a minimum 3.0 cumulative GPA, been accepted to an accredited college or university, and attend college full-time in the fall. Deadline to apply is February the 29th. Go to www.zetaspgcounty.org forward slash scholarships. The Centorial Scholarship is open to students living in the district. This is a need-based award and is available to you as long as you maintain a satisfactory grade and compete, complete the FASA annually. Full-time students receive funds for a total of eight semesters or until you graduate, whichever comes sooner. Deadline to apply is May 31st. And now we come to the last segment of our show. The SAT Word of the Day. The SAT Word of the Day is Zephyr. Any soft, gentle wind. Oh, how I long for the Zephyr of spring. And that concludes the edition of this morning roar. Have a great day. And remember, be great by choice.